the Lord be with you and also with you. Lift up your hearts, we lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. Father, you made the world and you love your creation. You gave your son, Jesus Christ, to be our saviour. His dying and rising have set us free from sin and death. And so we gladly thank you with saints and angels, praising you and saying, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends. And taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And when supper had ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you. He gave it to them and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for all, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it, in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence, his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you this bread of life and this cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes, when justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people. Gather us in your loving arms and bring us with Jerome and all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. And now we pray the prayer that Jesus himself taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. We break this bread to share in the body of Christ. Though we are many, we are one body, because we all share in one bread. Jesus is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Blessed are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you, but only say the word and I shall be healed. The Book of Common Prayer says that if anyone wants to receive communion but can't because of a great sickness, when they attend the Eucharist, they will receive every blessing of the sacrament, even if they don't take it with their lips. So I receive bread and wine on your behalf. Know that you are fully blessed. The body of Christ, broken for us all. Amen. The blood of Christ, shed for us all. Amen.
and we pray together. Almighty God, we thank you for feeding us with the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him we offer you our souls and bodies to be a living sacrifice. Send us out in the power of your Spirit to live and work to your praise and glory. Amen. Thank you for joining with us in our communion this morning. It has been wonderful to share together God's praise and remember the communion that we have that joins us with Jesus. I hope that you might join us on Sunday at 10.30. We have a Zoom service. All the details for that service can be found on our church websites. It'll be wonderful to see you. So go in peace to love and serve the Lord. In the name of Christ. Amen.